Welcome back to Movie Shortens. This is part two of Colony, where we discovered alien life forms have been on Earth for 40 years. They have learned to clone themselves and even mix alien and human DNA to make hybrids. However, these aliens spread a dangerous virus to humans who are near them when they bleed, and only Scully has the information on how to deactivate it. Can Mulder find where they've taken his sister and with that knowledge infiltrate the colony they've set up? Let's see if Mulder gets the answers he's looking for. In the last episode, Scully was face to face with a shapeshifter who is now posing as her partner Mulder. Mulder has finally found his sister who admits she was abducted by aliens over 20 years ago. They raised her and are colonizing the planet. There is a nuclear submarine called USS Allegiance patrolling the Arctic Sea. At 1,000 feet, it picks up a radio signal. They are ordered to fire upon it, but before they do, a piercing signal shuts down all their electric equipment. They cannot surface because they are under 50 feet of glacial ice. Back in Scully's hotel, someone posing as Mulder is speaking with Scully, who knows he's an imposter, being that she just hung up with the real Mulder. She pulls out her gun, and he acts surprised and goes to reach for his ID. He turns around and belts her across the room. He asks her where he is. She tries to defend herself, but he picks her up by the chin and holds her in the air. He wants to know where Mulder is, and when she won't answer, he throws her and she crashes into a glass table. He then changes back into the bounty man. Soon after, Mulder and Samantha kick in the door. Samantha says that he'll contact them to make a trade, Scully, for her. He wants her because she knows who he is and how to kill him. She tells him they must approach his skull in precisely the right place, but his blood is toxic and fatal if inhaled, so they must proceed with caution. As they wait, Mulder questions her about who she is. Samantha says it started with two aliens who came trying to establish a colony on Earth in the late 1940s. Since then, they've been cloning themselves. Samantha goes on to say there are alien clones in virtually every part of the country. They think humans will destroy themselves and by default they will get to inhabit the planet. Since then, they have been attempting hybridization to erase their duplicate facial features. They work in Planned Parenthood clinics to have access to fetal tissue. Through trial and error they have found a way to combine human and alien DNA. The bounty hunter has been sent to eradicate them because the original aliens think this experiment is diluting their race. It's kind of sad to see that aliens are into eugenics. Mulder is skeptical and again she asserts that she's his sister and he should trust her. Yeah, we're still working on that trust issue. There's a knock at the door and it's Skinner. Samantha ascertains it's the original, not a shapeshifter. They act like they are about to kill him as Skinner reports that the four doctors have disappeared from their cells. More like turned into green goo. It's not a pleasant way to go. The phone rings and Scully reports that the bounty hunter wants to trade her for Samantha. They are to meet at the old memorial bridge. Mulder asks Skinner for help who arranges to have a sniper present to blast the alien's skull when in position. The plan is to pretend they will trade, but really to shoot him. The sniper's shot is blocked when the trade is made. Samantha tries to jab the pick into his neck, but misses. The man asks where she is, but then the sniper takes his shot and he dives off the bridge with Samantha in his arms. The two plummet into the water. The divers have been dragging the river all night, but nothing has been found. Scully is released from the hospital and is upset to learn she was traded for his sister. The water is almost freezing and there is little hope his sister survived. Mulder is sure that it really was his sister and now he must report her probable death to his parents. Mulder explains what happened to his father 
who is disappointed in him. Mulder is teary and his father lays a guilt trip on him. Poor Parenting 101. His father gives Mulder an envelope and leaves. In the envelope, there are instructions to go to a woman's health clinic should they be separated. Before he enters, Scully tells him that they found Samantha's body in the river and she's dead. After they hang up, the paramedic calls Scully over to see something strange that is happening to Samantha's body. As they look in the ambulance, all that remains of Mulder's sister is green goo. Oh, thank goodness she was an alien clone. Their reactions are priceless. Mulder uses the key card to enter the clinic. He cautiously surveys the place and finds a medic. When she turns around, it's Samantha or a clone of her. The woman leads him to meet several other Samanthas, all working at the cloning facility. They ask for his help, saying the bounty hunter is coming to kill them. They are afraid they are being followed, and one of them introduces him to the original and says she is the one they must save. They tell him they know where his real sister is. Just then, the bounty hunter breaches the premises. He knocks Mulder out and then sets the place on fire after going after all the women with a pick. The fireworkers save Mulder from the blaze and they claim he is the only person in the building. Scully is writing up her report. She says Mulder was released from the hospital and no other bodies were found. Scully writes that she needs to find the true identities of all the men and women working at the clinics. She also writes that Mulder's claims of alien clones cannot be substantiated. Typical Scully. The man who is after them is still at large and is being charged with the death of Weiss, whose body is quarantined for further study. Scully visits the clinic that holds Weiss's body. They have found a retrovirus in his blood unknown to science. The thickening of his blood was an immunological response to the virus. She learns that the virus dies and is inactivated when the temperature inside the body is lowered by only 5 degrees. Mulder meets with Mr. X at the Opera House. He tells Mulder it's over and he will not help him this time. Mulder asks where the bounty hunter is, and Mr. X says his spacecraft was located days ago in the Arctic Ocean. A submarine tried to destroy it, but instead got disabled. Another attack ship has been sent to make sure the spacecraft doesn't leave. Mulder wants to go there, but Mr. X tells him he cannot win this battle. Scully lets herself into Mulder's apartment. There is a message left for her on his computer saying he is going to solve this mystery. He tells her he won't jeopardize her life for something personal to him. She immediately goes to Skinner and shares what was in the message. He doesn't know where Mulder went either. She asks Skinner to go through the unofficial channels to learn where he went and to send help. But he tells her Mulder is a loose cannon and has broken protocol. He warns her her career could be over if she follows in his footsteps. She counters that Mulder saved her life numerous times and she can't let him go without her help. He tells her, forget it, so she leaves. She tries herself to call upon Mr. X. He responds to her call thinking it's Mulder but refuses to say a word. Mr. X boards the elevator and is gone. However, waiting at the bottom is Skinner. He asks if he told her where Mulder went. The two begin to fight, first with a headbutt by Mr. X, and then Skinner puts up his dukes and does a pretty good job. Mr. X finally pulls out a gun, but Skinner won't let up and finally gets the lowdown on where Mulder went. He returns to Mulder's apartment, a bit worse for wear, and tells Scully everything the address, why he went, and how she can charter a plane to get there. Yay, we have an ally on the X-Files side. I just love great bosses. Mulder is at the North Pole, heading for the ship. He's had to cross 10 miles of ice in an ATV, and now he's on foot. He finds what looks like to be part of a submarine, only with wings. 
It has busted through the ice. He climbs on board. Inside, all the electronics are non-functional and the crew is dead. He hears a sound and finds one survivor. He suspects the man is not human. He chases the man down and asks why he ran. The survivor looks like an ordinary sailor who tells the story of how they lost power and drifted for days. He ran because he claims there was a man who killed the rest of the crew. He also claims he hid below a body to survive. Suddenly, the lights go on. Mulder ties him and tells him he will shoot him in the base of the neck if he doesn't tell him where his sister is. Suddenly, the man has super strength and changes into the bounty hunter. He continues to ask where his sister is. The man beats him and all he can say is that his sister is alive and now it's time for him to die. Mulder shoots the alien and his foamy blood leaks out poisoning Mulder with the virus. The man drags Mulder outside into the cold and dumps his body in the snow beneath the ship. The submarine is activated and the lights go on preparing submergence. Mulder is able to move out of the way and not get crushed as it dives below. Next, we flash forward to the beginning where Mulder is rescued and brought to the Arctic Hospital. Scully repeatedly says the cold is what's keeping him alive, knowing the virus remains dormant if the temperature is low. The doctors finally adhere to her instructions. They pull him from the bath as Scully uses the defibrillator to get his heartbeat back. She waits by his bedside, saying a steady series of cold transfusions and a heavy dose of antivirals has led to a slow but gradual improvement. He still has the virus, whose origin is still unknown. She reports that neither the submarine nor the spaceship have been located. She goes on to say how what she's witnessed cannot be explained with the scientific understanding now known to man. Though science is what saved his life. After a few days, he awakens. So what do you think? Is Mulder any closer to finding his sister? Let us know in the comments below. And if you'd like to watch more from Movie Shortens, please subscribe to the channel to be notified about when our next video is posted. As always, thanks for watching.